We're live at MWC 2019, and HMD's laying an all-out assault from the top tier right down to the mid to low-end smartphones, even throwing a feature phone at us for good measure, introducing the Nokia 4.2, Nokia 3, Nokia 1 Plus, and Nokia 210. This set of phones aims to offer Nokia's clean looks, up-to-date software, and solid camera prowess with strong battery life to top it all off, not to mention a couple unique Nokia experiences sprinkled in. We dove in to see what each of these handsets has to offer. The Nokia 4.2 offers the highest end look of the bunch, with glass on the front and back in black and our favorite pink sand. The device looks good thanks to a large 5.71 inch adequately sharp teardrop notched screen, but it also feels good in hand with a die cast metal frame at its core and a polycarbonate exterior. Of note is the addition of a dedicated Google Assistant button and a backlit power button that illuminates to alert you of notifications, something that may actually help you to keep your phone turned over when you need to. Flashing patterns may be more helpful, but we won't hold our breath on that. HMD says it's going after the affordable flagship sector with this one. So in addition to suave looks and solid construction, you'll find a 13 and 2 megapixel dual camera setup in back. This will of course offer adjustable bokeh and portrait photos when they're taken and after the fact in Google Photos. As always, you'll be working with a very clean Android 9 Pie setup run by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 439 processor and either 2 or 3 gigs of RAM. Pairing the 2 gig version with 16 gigabytes of storage and the 3 gig with 32 isn't exactly what we'd call a flagship experience, but we suppose that's the cost of the affordable prefix. NFC is also on board for mobile payments, as is a 3000 mAh battery, which HMD says, combined with the SD439, should easily last through a day's use. Price-wise, we're looking at $169 and $199 with yet-to-be-determined availability in the States. The Nokia 3.2's glossy polycarbonate unibody is a bit more utilitarian than the 4.2, but shares the backlit power button for notifications and looks big and shiny enough to carry Nokia's signature looks. The 6.26-inch HD display is big, but the 720p resolution isn't our first choice on a screen of this size. Things look okay on here otherwise, in terms of brightness and color, but it may be our least favorite screen of these three new Nokias, at least from our initial impressions. A 13-megapixel camera adorns the back of the Nokia 3.2, while a 5-megapixel sits up front. We're happy to see Android 1 9 Pie loaded within, even though HMD does a pretty good job of procuring updates even without it. The Snapdragon 429 is paired with either 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage, or 3GB RAM and 32GB storage. Either one should have little issue pushing this light Android version through its daily tasks. The real star here may be the 4000 mAh battery, which paired with these processing components should easily last two days of use according to HMD. The company wants buyers to compromise little in their quest for a low-cost workhorse or media machine, and pricing the Nokia 3.2 at $139 and $169, we're inclined to think it can deliver on this promise, the undetermined US release notwithstanding. Built as a feature phone to smartphone step-up device, the Nokia One Plus wants to make the transition as smooth as possible, starting with snazzy and enticing colors. Served with either red, blue, or black removable backs, these nano-pattern textured options give the One Plus the best looks we've seen at this price range. It truly harkens back to Nokia's ability to make very inexpensive phones that look cooler than expensive ones. While the Nokia 4.2 meets the more universally accepted standards of phone beauty, it looks like most other phones, and we honestly prefer the look of the One Plus. Sporting a 5.45-inch 18x9 screen, the Nokia One Plus looks fairly modern and the display seems to get the job done pretty well, too. Colors and brightness look good in our time with the device. Tapping into the screen, we find Android 9 Pie Go, which seemed to skip around the OS just fine on its 1GB of RAM, double the minimum requirements for this Android version. You'll also save double the space compared to what regular Android 9 Pie takes up, something you'll really be thankful for on a device that comes with either 8 or 16GB of storage. A 2500 mAh battery tops things off here, which we anticipate should last a day's use with relative ease. Lastly, camera side we have an 8 megapixel snapper with autofocus in back, and a 5 megapixel selfie cam up front, capable of portrait mode shots. It seems like we're really getting our money's worth here for the $99 Nokia One Plus, and while stateside availability is of course yet to be determined, we'd love to see some more formidable competitors at this price point come stateside. So please, won't you consider it HMD? Lastly, we have the Nokia 210. It's obviously a feature phone, something people look towards Nokia for with fond memories, but it is 2019, so there is a focus on internet connectivity with this little candy bar phone. Pre-installed on the Nokia 210 is the Opera Mini browser and an app for Facebook. Oh, and of course, the beloved Snake game. In fact, there's a whole mobile store offering a few Java-based games from developers like Gameloft, as well as music and wallpapers. This sort of thing may not be what draws everyone to this phone, but the gray polycarbonate body, simple UI, and nearly month-long battery life should speak to those looking for simplicity. 
A VGA camera and FM radio round out the list of bells and whistles on this $35 device. While global and US pricing has been released, we'll have to wait to see about availability for the phones in the US. We know we just got two other Nokia phones sent to us stateside, the Nokia 3.1 Plus on Cricket and the 2V on Verizon. So our hopes aren't high, but is just a couple more really that much to ask HMD? I'm Corey Gaskin with Phone Arena. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out phonearena.com for more coverage on MWC 2019.